But before I start to the core of the subject, quick word. I'm Jean Curcy, I'm one of the founders of Young Goods. And uh, yeah, I choose a picture. Uh, <laughs> I put the same jacket so you recognize me. Uh, and I'm the director of sales and marketing. Who knows Young Goods? Hey, not bad, not bad. Okay, very cool. Marketing guy is not bad. Um, Young Goods, very briefly, is around two years now in existence. We start with a very small shop in Bojok Market. And now in 2017, it's five shops, Yangon, Mandalay, and Bagan. Uh, around 25 consignments in hotels, airports, and the cruise. And we have started our international expansion, spreading Myanmar design all over the world. Uh, so now Thailand, Switzerland, Australia, and more to come. And more importantly, what Young Goods is doing, for the one who don't know, we are doing fashion accessories, design and decoration. I saw a few of our bikes today. Uh, and what is interesting for you today is that we have over 70 uh, B2B partnership and contracts. So that means we manage to close the sales. Not always. <laughs> many times. Uh, a brief word. Uh, so that's Yangu's product. You can see a lot of design. We rejuvenate Myanmar design. We use old or sometimes vintage image and we make it new product. Something cool, something trendy, something you want to wear. Um, and um, that's us. That's us in a nutshell. On my side, I live in Myanmar for four years. I'm native from France, as you can hear from my terrible accent. Uh, and I lived in Asia for now over 10 years. And I create company. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a serial entrepreneur. So that's what I do. Uh, when I wake up, I have at least two or three company ID, and generally I do one a year. Uh, and I've sold for these 18 years electronics, Harley Davidson motorcycles, uh, scuba diving, gear and courses, events, uh, music, and wine, and restaurants, and bars, and fashion and decoration. So from retail to B2B to B2C, I have broad experience. I never sold jobs yet, but who knows? Maybe it's my next business. <laughs> no competition with you. Um, so a brief summary of today. I, for the last 18 years, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes as well. And I've learned a few things. And I'm going to sh I wanted to share 18 tips for 18 years, but actually I will not have time, so I discounted 10%, I give 16. Okay? Exactly. That will be the point. Uh, thank you. Um, so, first we speak about just selling. Always selling is very important because actually we are selling non-stop every day. Uh, the fundamental of closing. And finally, three classic objections. Let me think about it. Can I get a better price? And let me get back to you. Somebody here about that before, right? And can I get a better price? As Mr. said, no discount. Uh, I will go on that point. And first, let me ask the question How is business? How is business? Let's say I'm your customer. You're coming to sell me something. So, how is business? How is business? How is business? Excellent. Excellent. Yes, very good. Yes. How is business, mister? You don't reply. <laughs> <laughs> when you see a customer, and this is my first quick point, you want to have good business. You want to communicate your emotions. So let's say again, I'm your customer. How is business? Incredible! Amazing! Right? Or you will not say to customer, oh, it's business. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My clients are terrible, they don't purchase. My product is broken, nobody wants it. You say that? No. So, 
business is good. And this is my first point. Selling, it's already, it has to be an emotional level. This is at the first moment, the first meeting, that you will share an emotion with the people. So, selling is everywhere. Somebody saw this movie? Yes. Yes. It's good, huh? Good scene. <laughs> How do you convince someone? In that case, you speak about the need, right? If you remember the scene. For the one who didn't see the movie, it's about selling a pen. How do you sell a pen? And selling is every day. You are selling when you are hired. You are selling when you hire somebody. You are selling to your banker for a loan. You are selling to your landlord to get an extension. You use these sales techniques. You are closing sales every time. Who has children here? Children? Mashibu? Chile? Do you have to close the sales sometimes to convince them to eat? Right? Um, who is married here? You're not using sales techniques sometimes with your wife or your husband, right? I really want to watch this TV channel, right? Why? Ah, you know. And you, right now, I'm selling you this course. I know to sell it, I do a transfer of emotion. I try to make you laugh. I try to make you trust me. Because that way, you will listen to me. So, from a course to hiring to anything, you are selling. I would like just quickly, who is manager here? One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay. And all the rest of you are CEOs, right? <laughs> Good. Uh, so, dear CEOs, <laughs> I hope you will find the course interesting. <laughs> I'm a bit humble now. <clears throat> um, so the fundamentals of closings. I assume that you listen to James well. So you know your product. That's the basic, okay? If you don't know your product, you don't know what you're selling, you cannot continue. Then you know your customer. You are selling a comb to a monk. I really like this example. Because in, in France we say you say an ice cream to, uh, you sell an ice cream to an Eskimo, to people from the really north uh, continent. But here you sell a comb to a monk. Really funny. Especially uh, Gandongshi. Try to sell a comb to me, right? <laughs> Good challenge. Uh, so you understand product, audience, and now what you need is these little tricks, these techniques, which will allow you to close the deal. Uh, you understand as well the fact that you're selling benefits, right? You are not purchasing a Yangut bag because it's 45 centimeter by 30 and it's made in PU and it's highly resistant to water. No. You're purchasing it because with it you will be so trendy, so super cool, so successful, and your selfie will have even more like on Facebook because all your friends will love your bag. That's the benefit, okay? And... Before that, I just want to speak quickly about points that will prevent you to close the sales if you don't apply them. Just by not doing it, maybe it will block your sales process. So, that sales process, actually the illustration of James was much better, uh, but I will focus on here, closing. So give yourself all the chances. The first thing is communicate clearly. Hmm? Know your product, but when you are with the customer, be clear. Restate if you need, rephrase, but state clearly what is the benefits of your product or service you're selling. Always have a proposal in writing. You are prepared, you already have your contract, you already have your invoice ready. You never know. People believe more often what they read, what they can touch, than what they hear. So if you have the document, maybe you can get the sign directly, or you can get more interest. Remain seated. This one is very important. Um, I had, very recently, one month ago, a B2B meeting, somebody trying to sell me a POS system. And you know, a point of sales, to register the sales, and so on. And we do the meeting, we do his presentation, and so on, and listen. 
And uh, I stand up. No more time, not really interested. And immediately he stand up. Finish. He speak with his feet. Stay seated. And then your customer, your prospect, stand up. Try one more time. Because if you stand up, you're done. Right? Most of the customer will not exit the room with you still seated. Right? This will not happen. They will not look at you, tada. <laughs> so stay seated. Stay with the buyer as well. Every time you leave the room to check something, to do something, you leave the chance for the person to be alone and you're thinking about it. That doesn't mean that sometimes it's, sometimes it's useful, uh, for example, for some, for some fields, to leave to call a higher position to close the deal. Right. And most of the time, try to stay with the buyer. Don't leave him too much time alone in his thought. That's very important, and I join in with the second one. How many times I meet prospects, or I meet people who want to sell me something, and they shake my hand, and they look at the seller. <laughs> um, an important part of selling is trust. People are not going to buy from you, especially services, if they don't trust you. How can I trust somebody who don't look me in the face? How can I trust somebody who shake my hands and feel like I have like a shan noodle? <laughs> so practice. And a good way to do, very easy, very cheap, very efficient, film yourself. Film yourself. Do mock training. Install a camera, very affordable, use your phone, and practice your pitch. Practice your welcome pitch. See how you enter the room when you enter the room. Or you shake hands, or you look your customer in the, in the eyes. And how you represent your company, and you, you show confidence, and you're not... <laughs> right? I make it on, on really one extent, but believe me, it's happened to me so many times in my life that I really need to make a point about that. So many times. This one. I missed two sales in my life because of this. No pen. Ah, we are ready to sign. <laughs> Shibu. Customer, Shibu. So you have to go check another one and so on, and the customer, if he's supposed to choose, he will think it's a sign to not sign. <laughs> My wife told me, this. I read this uh, zodiac sign this morning, uh, today is a bad business day, you know, no pen, oh, it's a sign. So, always have a pen. And depending on what you sell, who sell here expensive stuff? What do you sell? It's an event. Sorry? Event. Events. Very good. Expensive stuff. When you sell expensive stuff, do you want to carry a pen and get out a pen in plastic that you chew? Or two more? Or a nice pen? I know it's a detail, but when you ask people to spend 20k, 30k, 100k on a crazy event, more, you bring Madonna in Myanmar, right? Uh, then all this detail comes from your eyes to your hands to your pen. Business brings business. Success brings success. Ask one more time. Okay, don't take always a no for a no. Sometimes try to find another way to go back. And treat prospects like buyers. That's a very important thing. That when I speak, I speak to you. I will look and I know that on you, you have shown at many moments that you close a deal. You close a deal for your jacket. Somebody managed to sell you this jacket, right? You close a deal for your ring, for your watch. You close a deal for your car. You, have sh you show me in front of me that you have closed many deals before. So I'm not the first one. Or you speak to somebody naked. Probably not. Uh, except if you're at the beach. Uh, but otherwise, people are giving you clues. What is a watch brand? What is the shoes? You have information, so use this information. 
fake confident. So I'll just speak about that. It's, it's a very important last point, is that if you start to think, oh my god, we never get this contract, I'm done. <laughs> oh my god, this customer will never sign. I lose my time. Of course it will happen. That goes with the positive. Uh, if a customer starts to be negative, who had in his life terrible customer? Terrible. Hey, go on, don't be shy. Only two people. You're so lucky. Only good customer. Happy, smiling, enjoying life. You want to kiss them. <laughs> right? But if you join the customer in negativity and you start to climb on that, you're done. It's very hard. I'm not saying it's easy, huh? Sometimes you take a gun. <laughs> but if you show that negativity, of course, it will just snowball. And you will never have a deal with this person. And be, worse than that, you will have a bitter taste. And you will leave a bitter taste. And use you more. Especially during closing, people uh, need to be relaxed. Because that's where they can take more easily a decision. So, I don't know, learn a few good stories. Right? Learn a few jokes. Get to know the customer during the meeting and crack a joke at the end. And you will see it will be much easier to close the deal. And of course, but that's very, uh, that's a very easy advice in me and Mara. I see uh, I have a beaming face in front of me, so always smile. But, um, well, so that's fundamentals of closing. Leave me if, okay, you can forget a pen, there is a pen on the table, it's okay. But if you miss, three or four of these points, probably it will really damage your capacity to close the sales, just by doing this. Okay, uh, wait, before I move on, is there any question? Is there any clarification you need? Crystal clear? Okay. is that uh, I have 50 minutes to speak about closing the sales, and sales could require month, right? A, a real sales training would take month. So I will speak across all fields, from selling lipsticks to selling combs uh, to selling events. Uh, there is common points. Of course, you will see that some 